Ladies and gentlemen, we have got breaking news that just came out two minutes ago. It's on Infowars.com, it's on DrudgeReport.com, it's breaking from Bloomberg. And that is that Stephen Bannon is out uh, on the national security team. And I believe this signals that he's uh, going to be removed completely. Uh, major shakeups uh, going on inside the White House. But all of that is a side issue to communist China threatening nuclear war with the U.S. since the first time at the end of the last Korean War that never officially ended. We've been in a ceasefire on the DMZ. Our republic is in total crisis. Every top expert out there globally says the world is at the greatest danger ever, worse than the Cuban Missile Crisis, of nuclear war, ladies and gentlemen. And what are the Democratic Party doing while China belligerently takes over the South China Sea has North Korea fired missiles uh, that can carry nukes uh, right into the ocean, right off the coast. They fired more missiles today, threatening to attack South Korea just belligerently with a crazy little mentally ill dictator, Kim Jong-un. And our media and our government and, and, and the EU and Juncker, the unelected head of the EU, is saying overthrow America, overthrow England. They got EU ships entering British waters, making threats. The EU is in league with the damn communist Chinese. The Chinese communist dictator, the president, remember two months ago in Davos came and said together with the EU, they would stop Trump in America. So you got Japan, England, and the United States. Japan, England, and the United States right now are, are the groups facing this, okay? And just good job liberals and all of you. You're a bunch of scum. And, and all the people on mainstream TV trying to overthrow our president and sell us out to the communist Chinese who are the belligerents. And that's why we were trying to have an alliance with Russia to defeat radical Islam and so that we don't have to watch our back if we go to war with China because they are flexing their muscles. Look at this right here. Drudge Red Siren. Bannon loses power, stripped of security clearance. Let me click that up for you right now. I'm going to be going live in 10 minutes at Infowars.com forward slash show. And on stations around the country. But let me tell you something. I would be heading to places like Tasmania, like most of the elite have been doing the last few years. I told you about that before it was in the news. And people made jokes about it when I first told people that, uh, you know, folks uh, like the top Hollywood directors and folks were leaving. Bannon loses National Security Council role. And Trump shakeup. Bannon is a great guy, one of the few good people there. We have Jared Kushner, who uh, reportedly we have insiders, obviously, telling us is just leaking information about Bannon and others uh, directly to MSNBC. Uh, but this is a very, very serious time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. But there it is. Bannon loses power. But for me, that's important. But the big news is the North Korea situation. But people say, oh, we've never had a nuclear war. Yeah, the United States dropped two atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. But no one had the weapons yet except the United States, okay? Do you understand that top U.S. generals are saying the only option left now is to bomb these sites because you have a crazy person with atomic weapons threatening to blow up Seoul, South Korea, and Tokyo, Japan every day and then firing missiles that are crashing into the water right off the coast. A few more miles, it'll hit Tokyo. But it doesn't matter. Let's just piss on America and Trump and all this crap. What traitors we have running this country. Who Our, our nation is in such grave danger. And you've got all the MSMs out there trying to kill our economy and hoping the Trump recovery fails. You people are crazy. We have communist China lecturing us on how we should let more people come into our country when they'll kill you. you. You go to China and try to get free welfare. They don't have welfare in China. But the people living in a lap of luxury comparatively, running this country in the ground, we've been bought out by the communist Chinese, they're buying up Hollywood, and they've got their collaborators in the media trying to overthrow our president from within. It's crazy. It's totally and completely insane. And now we've never had rhetoric like this. And now the Secretary of State has said, I have no response to the missiles being fired. We've already spoken yesterday with what the generals said. And what did Keen and others say? The only option now is to bomb those sites. You can't let them load atomic warheads on those and, and, and fire them. And you look at, folks, you go look at the photos today of Kim Jong-un 
that little weird fat man who couldn't find his way out of a wet paper bag that grew up in Switzerland, you know, in a fancy school, just waddling around. And you look at the people around him, they look like total mind control slaves, just pathetic. And he's about this tall, but he starves people so much, they're all like this. There's, there, there's photos up on CNN uh, that show him uh, with a big tank crew around. In fact, I have it right here. Look at this. China vows to defend itself all at all costs in U.S. attacks. Gets into the generals. The only option left bombing the sites. And then look at this. Is the United States about to bomb North Korea? The White House says the clock has run out. Here's the photo, but you got to see it in color. I'm going to put that behind me on screen when we go live in 10 minutes. These people literally, some of these people are standing up. They're like four feet tall from being starved. The Koreans in South Korea, just in a generation, are like six, seven inches taller. I mean, God, this, look at him. And, and look, these are little, uh, look at this, look at this. Look at this. I mean, you look at the faces of these poor people. I mean, they are in mind control land. And that's the upper crust, and they're starving to death. This is what communism delivers. It's what Venezuela delivers. It's what all you people that want collectivism and hate prosperity because you're socially envious and, and hate the prosperity because it makes you feel bad. And now you want to nihilistically start World War III, you assholes. If I did, wasn't totally committed to stopping this, I would be getting out of the country with my family and getting to the Southern Hemisphere two years ago. The world's in the greatest danger ever, and the Democratic Party and the Republican establishment are lined up, showing weakness in the face of all this garbage, and that's why the communist Chinese, the biggest mass murderers in history, don't respect us. Because the Democratic Party and snot-nosed people like the Intel deputy head, uh, Adam Schiff over there, are scumbags. You think having all those fairies and pansies up there with little chicken necks running around attacking our president all day makes us look strong, it makes us look weak. doesn't matter we've got 10 to 1 nuclear weapons against China. Those crazy people have proven they'll go to war. They're completely psycho like Kim Jong-un on power trips. So if China keeps pushing, the only option is full commitment to hit China preemptively. That's the only way to survive this nuclear war, and Trump knows it. And Russia has already been told they better stand down. The United States is preparing to nuke China. So get ready, assholes. All of you wanted it, you're going to get it. Turn that off. God damn it. Excuse me. Go online.